was we were right beyond um, where the breakers were and the two of us were kind of just paddling to get a better spot right. closer to where the sets were breaking. The two of you, you and Eric? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We were the closest to each other. There were um, some other surfers around, like Tim. So for a second, I couldn't see him. A wave kind of came up and rolled through, and um, when he was back into view, um, I saw the dorsal fin of the shark, and then I saw the tail fin of the shark. They were kind of going down into the water. Um, it definitely wasn't like a quick attack. It was nice and slow. Kind of just like a dolphin peeking up. And, um... What happened next? Yeah, after that, um, all of a sudden I saw him. He was yelling. He was saying shark. He was saying out. He was saying help. And, um, the two of us kind of paddled to shore. And he had kind of caught up to me, and I saw his leg. It looks like he had a red stripe on his wetsuit, which is pretty common. Um, but that was actually blood. And yeah, then we made, made it to shore. And he made it before I did. He kind of crawled himself up onto the sand. And um, the first thing we did was um, use a surf leash to apply a tourniquet. Um, we did that with two separate surf leashes, tied them as tight as we could. Um, then we got him, got him onto a longboard. Surfers and surfers were coming in to help, pouring in. Um, by the time we had got him onto the longboard, there were probably ten of us. Uh, we got to the stairs and someone who was a trained paramedic came down with a real tourniquet. Yeah, I heard. Um, and then we made it up to up the stairs and within minutes the ambulance was there and then a couple minutes more passed and the helicopter was there. And what's going through your mind uh, once you hear and see a shark and then uh, <laughs> one of your fellow surfers is yelling? Uh, yeah, it was just, it was just get to shore. You know, it wasn't, it, there wasn't much emotion involved at the time. It was just like, this is what we have to do. And th that was kind of what happened throughout that whole experience. There, I, d I didn't feel like I had the time to like process it emotionally. I don't know if I have yet, you know, because I've been explaining the story to everyone. Yeah. Um, at the board? 